Hi everyone, Stephen Lee here. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about PPP round number two and answering the following three questions. Number one is, who is eligible to apply? Number two is, what are the loan terms? Number three are, what are the loan amounts under PPP round number two? All right, so let's get right into it. Number one, who is eligible to apply for PPP round number two? Um, what we know is that it's available for both first time and businesses who's already received PPP round number one, right? So it's both first time and PPP round number one recipients. Number two, the business must have fewer than 300 employees. Um, the next part is uh, the eligibility is you must have used all of your PPP funds from round number one. Okay, so you cannot have any PPP funds lingering or unused. You need to have used all your PPP funds from round number one. Okay, uh, you have to show 25% gross revenue decline in any 2020 quarter compared to the same quarter in 2019. Okay, so what they're gonna ask for is you need to show a decrease in gross revenue of at least 25% for a single quarter in 2022 compared to the same quarter in 2019. Okay, and most likely that's gonna be coming through your bank statements, right? So business bank statements probably need to be submitted for the two quarters that you're comparing, right? To show that revenue decrease of 25%. And also with PBP round number two, first time borrowers like who are sole proprietors and independent contractors are also qualified to apply for PPP round number two. Once again, sole proprietors and independent contractors are now qualified to apply for PPP round number two. The second question is, what are the loan terms under PPP round number two? Um, they're basically the same as PPP one. Remember, 60% must be used for payroll costs. Um, over the cover period of either eight weeks or 24 weeks. Okay, remember 60% for payroll costs, 40% for other eligible PPP expenses um, over an eight or 24 week covered period. Um, another part of the loan terms is that uh, the other eligible expenses, just as a review, are rent, mortgage interest, and utilities, right? Rent, mortgage interest, and utilities. There are actually new eligible expenses under PPP round two, right? That can be also on top of the rent, mortgage, interest, and utilities. This 40%, that 40% that we're talking about, um, those include expenses related to protecting your employees, whether facility modifications or the purchase of personal protective equipment, so PPP. So if you made any uh, changes structurally or you had to purchase equipment like air filtration systems or machines, purifiers, or even PPP uh, related um, equipment, you know, like masks or sanitizer, things like that, that you might have spent for the business, those are also now included within that 40% of eligible PPP expenses. Okay. Also, there are certain operating costs that now are considered eligible PPP for expenses, including uh, purchases of software and cloud computing services. You know, this is really getting at remote working, right? Or um, if your business had to go remote because of the quarantine or the pandemic, then uh, this is really giving a break to those businesses, right? So if you're a professional services firm, um, like our firm here, um, we spent a lot in terms of IT services and purchasing software and just, you know, being able to be more remote capable. Those are now included within that 40%, right, of eligible PPP expenses. Also, accounting needs, right? Right? So accounting fees, um, fees that you use to whether it's apply for EIDL or PPP or try to apply for PPP loan forgiveness, those are also going to be considered eligible expenses to have your PPP round number two loan forgiven. Okay. And the third question is, what are the new loan amounts, right? How are, how is PPP round number two loan going to be calculated? Uh, the max loan for PPP round number two will be $2 million. Okay. So any applicant, um, eligible applicants can receive up to $2 million with the PPP loans, right? In the past, it was 10 million. Now it's down to 2 million. For most companies, the max loan will be 2.5 times the average monthly payroll cost in the year prior to the loan. Okay, so it's 2.5x 
your average monthly payroll. Most likely it's gonna be based on your 2020 payroll, right? Because when you're applying for PPP round two, when that opens up, it's asking for the prior average monthly payroll cost in the prior year. So most likely PPP round two, those applications will go through sometime in 2021 or early 2021. So they're gonna base the, uh, the loan amount on your 2020 average payroll cost on a monthly basis, so 2.5. Another really big part of round number two is really for the restaurant and hospitality industry. So, so, so businesses with a, a NAICS code, that's an N-A-I-C-S code, and that code describes your business's primary business activity, right, or principal business activity, right? Um, if your NAICS code is um, starts with a the number seven and two so 72 um, which is typically hotel and restaurant industry your ppp round number two eligible loan amount will be 3.5 times your um, average monthly payroll cost right so 3.5x not 2.5x but 3.5x right if you are in the hotel and restaurant industry and your NAICS code starts with 72 Okay, so you are still subject to the $2 million cap. However, you can receive a PP loan up to 3.5 times your monthly average payroll. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as you don't want to miss any future notifications and updates to PPP loans, tax tips, and tax strategies. Uh, until next time, have a wonderful day.